Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, that's right. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. So nice to have so many of you in the sanctuary. It's wonderful to have those of you who are watching online. Tonight is a very special, well, every Shabbat at CRJ is special, but this is a special, special Shabbat tonight because not only will we be celebrating Shabbat in a regular way, but we also honor the women of Reform Judaism, our sisterhood here at CRJ. This is our sisterhood Shabbat, where we honor the women of our congregation that do such wonderful things to help our congregation continue to thrive and to flourish. And we also have a bat mitzvah tonight, which we don't usually have, and to explain a little bit about that later. And earlier before the service, we welcomed two new Jewish people into our congregation, two who have two Jews by choice who have chosen to be part of the Jewish people. And in a couple of weeks, we'll welcome a third. We have many people that are finishing up their conversion. So that's wonderful. A lot to celebrate on one Shabbat, right? So whatever reason you're here, or if you're just here randomly and you showed up, what a great Shabbat to show up for this week. So Kanner is going to help us welcome our sisterhood Shabbat, members of our sisterhood, women of foreign Judaism, will read and be part of our service tonight. And with that, we have a special song to remind ourselves how important the voice of the Jewish women are not only today, but have been throughout Jewish history. Our voices flow just like a river moving swiftly through time. Our dreams float high just like pollen up to the heavens and the sky mothers grandmothers daughters sisters aunts nieces and wives we are a force a gift a blessing with purpose to be alive we are beautiful strong and wise changing the world day by day we continue to rise our voices flow just like a river moving swiftly through time our dreams float high just like pollen up to the heavens and the sky please be by our side give us infinite courage to always speak up for what's right we are flowers in the wind vibrant radiant divine together we have so much to give all of our colors combine try with me our voices our voices flow just like a river moving swiftly through time our dreams float high just like pollen up to the heavens and the sky mothers grandmothers daughters sisters aunts nieces and wives we are a force a gift a blessing with purpose to be alive we are beautiful strong and Shalom. Thank you, Cantor. Now it's a pleasure to invite both the incoming and outgoing president of our sisterhood, Helene Becker and Ellen Snyder, to come lead us into Shabbat. And I can't think of something more appropriate. Ellen, come on up with Helene. More appropriate than light and sweetness, as our sister brings a lot of light into our community. 
and they do a lot of sweet things to help us thrive. As the day becomes night, the velvet cloak of darkness descends, en enveloping us in its warmth. We snuggle into its folds, eyes closed, <laughs> breathing deeply. We feel at peace. We feel the cares and worries of the day fall away, leaving quiet contentment, serenity. We even see with eyes closed two small pinpoints of light drawing us close, causing us to feel a warmth inside as well as out. We smile and embrace them as we do each week, as our mothers did, as our daughters do each week. For, For these, these are, are the, the lights, lights of Shabbat, Shabbat and we, we are, are at home. Amen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kitshanu Now we raise our cups in celebration for the sweetness of life, for blessing, and for health, and for the women of our congregation especially. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech olam. Amen. Join the cantor in the full blessing. You don't. You guys don't want to do it. Sure. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Borei Periagafen. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Kitshanu B'Mitzvotam Veratzavanu. Bishabat Kot Show, Beahava of Ratzon, in Hilanu, Zikarum Lema Savere Sheet, Kihu Yom Terila, Lemi Cry Kodesh, Zeher Lipsiar, Beats Raim, Kiva. Tanu kidashta mikoh mi b'shabat kochecha be'ahava uvratzon in chal tanu baruch atadonai mikadesh hashav. I am to life, to celebration, to community. Turn to someone near you, introduce yourself to them, and wish them a Shabbat Shalom. Around you. Tony, you want, well, we can wait. And tonight, as I mentioned to you, that we are a community together. When one part of the community, something's going on, we support one another. And so a few weeks ago, we had an adult B'nai Mitzvah, but unfortunately, Suzanne was not feeling well. And so we decided that it's inappropriate to have someone be isolated in an adult B'nai Mitzvah class. So Suzanne is joined tonight by her B'nai Mitzvah class. She will read from the Torah tonight officially become bar mitzvah. We'll get to all scream mazel tov, which will be wonderful, and I think it's so appropriate on Sisterhood Shabbat 
to have a woman become bat mitzvah in the synagogue and sister at Shabbat. With that said, I'd like to invite Suzanne and her class up because, as she does the first act, which is a talit, putting on the talit to officially make her entree into becoming a bat mitzvah. Usually you don't wear a talit at night, except in the case of when you read from the Torah. And so she will don a talit tonight with her class. Since they already did it, they don't have to do it again, right? <laughs> They're here to support her, and we're all here together, which is really wonderful. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kishanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu lehi atef bat zitzit. Amen. Amen. We're in good health, and for many good health, Suzanne. We're in really good health, Suzanne. <laughs> With that said, we ask you to please stand as you are able for our lead into our service of prayer of gratitude. You have a bar, you have a reading first. Yes. Oh, first a reading. First Go ahead. First reading. <clears throat> Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Listen, my soul, listen. Listen. Listen to the voice of God in the wind and the wave. Listen to the whisper of our ancestors as they danced in freedom on that ancient shore. Listen, my soul, listen. Listen and feel. Listen, my soul, listen. Listen and feel. Feel the hand of God move through you. Feel the footsteps of our ancestors as they dance to Miriam's timbrel. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai You guys are doing the Bihafta together, right? Huh? You're doing the Bihafta? I'm doing the Bihafta together. No, okay. Suzanne's going to lead it. Yeah, yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, <laughs> it's on page 36. Oh, I know. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Bihafta, <laughs> eh, a. 
Adonai Eloheka Bekol Levaka Uve Kol Navsheka Uve Kol Meodeka Vehayu Hadvarim Haele Asher Anoki Mitzveka Hayom Alevavecha Veshinatam Levanecha Vediparta Bam Veshiteka Vedetekaika Uvlekteka Vaderek Ushokbecha Um Kumecha Ukshark Tam Leot Al Yadecha Vehayu Leta Tokfot Bain Enenecha Uktav Tam Al Metsuzot Beteka Uvisha Reka Leman Tiskeru Vasitem Et commits for Tai Vitem Kedoshim Leo Hekem Ani Adonai Elohekem Asher Hotzezi Et Chem Meretz Mitzrayim Lichot Lachem Leo Him Ani Adonai Elohim, Adonai Elohim Emet. Those words that were just chanted are some of the most important in the Torah. In a sense, besides the comments of the rabbi said, love your neighbor as yourself, all the rest is commentary. The other part of the Torah that is most important, V'yahavta Eid Adonai Elohecha, Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. That sums up Judaism so, so well. We are to take the commandments that are in the Torah and to make them real. And one of the commandments that we're making real tonight is for someone to become bat mitzvah. With that said, I'd like you to please stand as you're able as we connect the v'yahavta to the Torah, to the reading of the Torah, to the blessing of the Torah, to celebrating the Torah. I'd like to invite Tony and Jamerson, Jamerson to come up and open up the ark doors for us. As we invite Suzanne to come up. And as in a moment, those words that are found in the Torah, not to fear God, but to love God. A difference in our tradition that our Judaism is not based on a fear, but completely based on love. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the rest is commentary. Love God with all your heart and all your soul. And tonight, Suzanne, as you take the Torah in your arms, you will take it with a sense of love and a sense of dedication and all that love represents. So with that said, Cantor, some marching music as I have the privilege to place the Torah aside in Suzanne's arms. And as the tradition is, we don't place our back to the Torah. As it makes its way to sound the sanctuary, we follow the Torah and we follow Suzanne. Life. Anybody in the class want to walk around with her? Go ahead. Come it on. is a tree of you, life Edie. to those who hold fast to it, and all of its supporters are happy. It is a tree of life to those who hold fast to it, and all of its supporters are happy. Shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom, shalom. Eit chayim hila machazikim v'tom peha. Meyushar eit chayim hila machazikim v'tom peha. Meyushar. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Did everyone get a chance to touch the Torah? Go around, why not? Oh, yeah. around this side. 
No one left behind. When you get ready, you're going to address the Torah. Yeah, you're getting warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. 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 Is that getting heavy, Suzanne? <laughs> Then we're going to have Linda undress the Torah. Linda will undress it. You can put it on. Rabbi, will you help with the undressing? Will you help put the Torah back to buff up? Make sure we're all good. Wait, don't close the arc yet. Open it up. Oh, did Rabbi tell you? Oh, well, then, then it's fine. <laughs> this is totally choreographed. <laughs> So you can actually be seated since the ark is closed. So this is actually how we did it at the service. Linda undressed the Torah, so we're doing a repeat, a little repeat, a mini B'nai Mitzvah service right here, right now. supposed to remain standing. Oh, sorry. That was my fault. <laughs> until it's wrapped. It was my fault. The ark was closed. It was my fault. It's called it's Cantor Friday Says. Night. Cantor Says, sit down. Cantor Says, stand up. Cantor Says, It's Friday night. Things down. are different on Friday Cantor night. Cantor Says, do jumping backs. <laughs> okay. Shaw. Be seated. This, is, this happens almost every Saturday when we have a service. We have a good time. Okay, so the moment has arrived, Tanner, for us to have Suzanne come. And by the way, the idea of reading Torah only during the day was really, some scholars believe, just practical. Because in ancient times, it was dark. And they didn't have a lot of opportunity to provide light. It would be a great waste of resources. So when they decided when to read Torah, what did they decide? When it was light out, it made sense. But there's no prohibition against reading Torah at night, technically. You can read Torah at any time. So that's wonderful today that we have the opportunity for Suzanne to be called to the Torah for a first time. And after she does it, and you'll see her face change before your eyes, and she'll become bat mitzvah, and she'll be a totally different person. The quiet, demure Suzanne that we once know will become an explosive, energetic Suzanne <laughs> at one moment. Oh, you didn't get to know her in class, actually, though. Yeah, that's true. That's what <laughs> I heard. <laughs> Even more explosive. And so, as tradition is to call someone up for the first time, before they read from Torah, it's considered the greatest honor that we give to anyone in a congregation. So we give that honor to Suzanne after her study and also be surrounded by her class, which is wonderful. Cantor, please call up in a traditional way with a very special song with your Suzanne Hebrew name. Ali, Ali, Ali.
with, with your seat seat, fringes. Barku it Adonai Hamborak. Baruch Adonai Hamborak Leolam Vae. Baruch Adonai Hamborak Leolam Vae. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Miko Haamin. Venatan Lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Shabbaton yihye la'aretz Shabbat l'adonai sat home lo tizra ve'karmecha lo tizmor. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Vekaye Olam Nata Betochenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Mazel Tov! Cement of a muzzle dove, a muzzle dove, a cement of Mazel Tov to Suzanne. I would say the newest young adult member of the congregation. <laughs> the newest adult member of the congregation officially, Bat Mitzvah, today. It's wonderful. You know, remember when Moses brought down the Torah? Uh, from Mount Sinai, and the people were rebelling with the golden calf, Moses dropped the Torah. 
Well, the, to- the tradition says he threw the Torah to the ground, but the rabbis, they want to be good to Moses. They say, well, he was so upset, it fell out of his hands. And now there's another tradition, and Moses must have been pretty nervous. He was really nervous when God said, you know, Moses, I'm giving you a second Torah to take down, and this time make sure that you don't drop it. He said, Moses, raise up the Torah before the people of Israel, because they should know that the Torah belongs to everyone. So you, Suzanne, today have connected yourself to Torah, and you didn't even drop a single letter or a single sound or a single chant. You did so wonderfully. We're so proud of all the work you did, and now you are totally connected to your class. All of you together are totally connected, all bar by mitzvah. And today we raise the Torah, and I promise I won't drop it, just so you know. So I only have a few more times to do this, so I got to do it big, right? So with that said, the words that Moses were told by God, Zota Torah, share some Moshe. This is the Torah that Moses handed to the people of Israel to tell them to keep it, to pray for, over it, to reflect upon it, to argue with it, and most importantly, the door of a door from generation to generation, pass the Torah. And today the Torah was passed to Suzanne, you, and your classmates, and the community is surely strengthened because of that. So with that said, I'll ask you to please stand as you're able with those words as I lift the Torah as strong as Moses at the age of a hundred something lifted the Torah. Bezot HaTorah Sher Samoshe Lifnei Vnei Yisrael Al Pi Adonai Beyad Moshe Torah, 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 Torah Ziva Lanu Moshe Torah, 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 Siva Landu Moshe. Torah, 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 Siva Landu Moshe. Torah, 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 Siva Landu Moshe. Torah, 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 Ziva Lanu Moshe. Torah, 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 Ziva Lanu Moshe. Morasha Keilat Yakov, Morasha Keilat Yakov, Morasha Keilat Yakov. Just for a second. In a moment, we're going to connect two special traditions as well. We're going to connect the tradition of the priestly blessing, which is found in the Torah several weeks ago in the Torah portion, because we have the privilege of blessing Suzanne in front of the ark, and the tradition is to open up the ark before the commanding presence, as the rabbinic tradition says, of the Torah. It contains our stories and our history, and every time we bless someone in front of the Torah, it's extra special because we're connecting them to that Torah, to that story, to that tradition. And we're also going to link, since Suzanne is active in our sisterhood, she's one of our active sister members on the board and has has served in sisterhood, we're going to then connect the tradition of linking Suzanne and the rest of the sisterhood board through all the traditions that are found in our Torah. And I think particularly significant is that we do the installation of the officers as we stand and open the ark doors. And I want to do that because I want to remind ourselves of the centuries, unfortunately, throughout Jewish history, where women's voices were there, but were never honored and heard. For many centuries, unfortunately, part of the rabbinic tradition's shortcoming was to suppress the voices of the women that were there and present in Judaism, but whose voices were not heard. Famous women like Bororia, famous women going back to Miriam and Deborah, the judge, the military leader. These were voices in Jewish tradition where women's voices were there, but were not always celebrated and heard. And only since the beginning of the reform movement, really, in the beginning of the reform movement in the mid-1900s, 
and continuing through the ordination of the first rabbi, whose ordination we celebrated last year, 50 years, Sally Priesen, in 1972. The women's voices were reclaimed by Reform Judaism. And that's something that we could be very proud of. Before Reform Judaism existed, women did not have the same voice as men in Judaism. And when Reform Judaism came along with one of its innovations, that men and women should be considered equal, that women had something to say, and that women should reclaim those voices that were suppressed throughout history. At that moment, in the middle of the 19th century, continuing through, especially in America in the 20th century, women's voices were heard, and ever since then, women's voices were heard and heard and heard and heard, <laughs> and never to be suppressed again, which is, ad, which is important. But I don't mean that in a pejorative way. I mean it in a way that Judaism had to make up for its past indiscretion of not allowing those voices to be heard. And there are many women scholars throughout history whose voices were never heard and have been reclaimed in recent years because of the reform movement and because of the women in reform Judaism. They were the first in the mid-1800s to step forward to buy an organ for a synagogue because they thought that music was important, to fight for the right to women to be on boards and leadership positions, to fight for the women to be clergy and rabbis. These were the women of the congregation who did it, not the men. They pushed forward and said, our voice must be heard. And so it's appropriate tonight as we celebrate Suzanne as a bat mitzvah, we celebrate our sisterhood and connect both of those things together. And so with that said, I'd like you please to stand as you're able. And I'd like to open up the arc doors once again. Tony and Linda. And we ask Suzanne first to join us here on the bima in front of the ark to receive the blessing. And then we will transition into right here. We'll transit into Sister Shabbat. Yeah, Cantor? Stand right here. And I want that Torah to represent the women's voices, that middle Torah, the voices the women in our tradition are put back in the ark exactly where they belong. So this is and for you, especially for your bar mitzvah, and this is also your classmates receive the same blessing. So for all of you, once again, we receive and give a blessing, receive a blessing. You are a blessing. You are a blessing to us. And we hopefully are a blessing to you in a never-ending cycle of blessing after blessing after blessing. <laughs> As you become bat mitzvah tonight, may God especially watch over you and bless you. May the radiance of God's light find its way into your heart and into your soul. God has bestowed favor upon you. May you take that favor and turn it into a life of meaning and purpose, a life in Judaism to make a difference in the world, the takain et haolam to repair our broken world and bring it closer to a sense of shalom, a sense of wholeness. Amen. Amen. And we say once again to Suzanne and the entire class, mazel tov. Mazel tov to all of you. And I present you. to you your B'nai Mitzvah certificate with the right date on it. <laughs> And we're all so overjoyed. And I have to say that I'm so happy that all of her, your classmates are here with you. This is such a special moment. Um, recovering from a big surgery, you're here. And I'm so happy that you're here. And all of you are here tonight. So thank you. And now I'd like to connect Suzanne as a member of our sisterhood with all the women who are here tonight to celebrate. And so I say with the consent of this community, vibrant and struggling in the presence of Torah, rich with wisdom and insight. We ask that those who we call to service 
will bear this burden lightly, bringing honor not only to themselves alone, but all who labor in love for the synagogue. For you who will become members of this board and who were members, may your tenure of service be one of life and grace, achievement and success. May you grow in wisdom and strength in Jewish learning, each and every one of our outgoing and incoming sisterhood members. May you guide our efforts and guard our path. May you grow in the intelligent exposition of our heritage and never fear the new traditions of our evolving people. May the source of truth grant each of you clear vision, a determined and passionate spirit, and the courage to carry forward the mandate of our synagogue, our women of Reform Judaism. And now is in honor that I call the members of the outgoing sisterhood board to please stand and remain standing as you are. <laughs> but I'd like you to kind of come to the center aisle so we could recognize who you are. As I call your name, please move to the center if you could so we can recognize each and every one of you. Helene Becker, Ellen Snyder, Dana Sussman, Rachel Vandemark, Barbara Zaslavsky, Cheryl Sakharov, Marsha Freeman, Maddie Oaken, Rachel Sachs, Edie Bloom, Carolyn Weinstein, Melanie Foreman, Jean White, Barbara Grossman, Beverly Smith, and Suzanne Green. You want to go down, go down and be with your... It's appropriate that those of you who are outgoing officers stand right in the middle aisle, right on your way to Torah, to the light of Torah, because you all, we want to thank you so much for the service that you have given to sisterhood. We want to thank you for bringing the light of Torah. Really, you don't always realize it as you're thinking about what you do and how you do it and all the little practicalities of getting food ready or planning a program or doing a project. Whatever it is, you don't realize always, but you are doing sacred work. So thank you, each and every one of you who stand here tonight in this aisle, the congregation, its board, and all of its members, thank you for completing your terms of service as members of the Sisterhood Women of Reform Judaism Board. We encourage you to continue to support the Sisterhood with your experience, your wisdom, your talents, and the helping ensure the stability of our Sisterhood that ensures the stability of this congregation. You are a backbone of this congregation, and you are doing what you can do to make sure that reform, a strong reform Judaism, exists in Central Florida. So thank you, each and every one of you. So we can give a round of applause. And now I call upon, if you're, a, if you're continuing, you may stay there, but if you're not, you may be seated. And we're now we'll call upon the new elected officers of CRJ Sisterhood, the board of 2325. And these are the members. Ellen Snyder, they might sound familiar to you. Barbara Zaslavsky, Dana Sussman, Marsha Friedman, Rachel, Rachel Sakharov. Uh, uh, Rachel Sakharov? I think that's Rachel Sachs. But they are, they are sisters. They are sisters. Rachel Sachs Sakharov. Okay. Rachel Vandemark. Rachel Sachs, Rachel Vandemark, Jair Sakharov. Okay. Rachel Vandemark, Maddie Oaken, Suzanne Green, Beverly Smith, Rachel Sachs, Edie Bloom, Carolyn Weinstein, Melanie Foreman, Jean White, Helene Be Becker, Barbara Grossman, Julia Berger, Cami Schwam Wilcox. We welcome all of you. So for those of you who are continuing and those of you who are new, your sisterhood is grateful to each of you who has chosen to share your wisdom your experience, your talent, and your time. This is a volunteer opportunity, and I know that you give all that you give with your heart and with your spirits and your souls. Thank you for being dedicated to serve this organization that serves the temple and the Jewish people for the next two years. May God bless these dedicated women who, through their work and commitment, reach out to reform Jewish women everywhere in an effort to bond you together and that each of you grow in strength and numbers through your sisterhood. May God instill you with courage, wisdom, and inspiration to go forward and realize the goal of a strong women's Jewish presence and voice in our community. Without it, we are diminished. May God watch over you and bless you with the harmony of love, 
compassion, and peace. And now I give you the same blessing. I reach out my long arms around all of you. I'd have to have really long arms for this group. But you deserve a hug. You deserve an embrace with these words, especially for you. May God continue to watch over and bless each and every one of you for your service and your dedication and your commitment to this congregation and to sisterhood. May the light of God continue to shine through you so that you can shine it to other women to connect them to this very important organization, this very important sisterhood that connects women's voices and spirits and souls together. May God bestow favor upon each and every one of you, and may you feel a sense of fulfillment because of your commitment and dedication. May you feel the value that you are bringing to this congregation to bring a strong female presence and voice and all of the qualities that only women are able to bring to a congregation. May you find that as a blessing and through that find a sense in your heart, a sense of shalom, a sense of wholeness. On behalf of all of us here, on behalf of your congregation, we thank you and bless you for the work that you do and the work that you will do over the next two years. And we say, Amen. 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 Helene and Ellen? Okay, yes. You may also, you may all be seated. Oh, That's okay, voice. you got the mic. Stand, <laughs> making sure you stand in front of the mic so we can hear the people um, that are I've been mother to okay. all you chickens for a long time. So, chickens. to my chickens. I want to go ahead and pass on to you oh. our local president's pin. Thank May you. you wear it proudly Woo. to all the events. Oh. Mm-hmm. And also pass on to you what we passed down from president to president, a Yes Fund Lifetime Endowment um, Endowment. Necklace. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Necklace. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And as long as we're up here real quick, we want to tell the whole congregation, Rabbi knows, today one of the gifts that sisterhood has provided the synagogue this year was installed this afternoon, a fabulous room divider that is temporary, or right now it's in the social hall, so the room can be divided, so multiple Groups can meet at the same time, or you could just have a nice intimate dinner without being in such a large room. So it was installed tonight, and it was a gift from Sisterhood to CRJ. Thank you so much. Ellen, do you want to say? Our Sisterhood board has has a a gift for Helene. Um, What some of you may not know is that this is Helene's second time around for a uh, two-year stint as president. And um, a year and a half ago, the chairman of our nominating committee, Jean White, called me to see if I would be willing to be president-elect. Well, I turned her down, hung up the phone, thought about it, and then called her back and said, does this mean that I can follow Helene around for the next two years? (laughs) And she said, sure. I said, I'll do it. (laughs) It's been a very quick two years for me. I have found that Helene is organized, creative. Most of her creation comes about three o'clock in the morning. (laughs) Warm and friendly, and it's been a pleasure getting to know her. Uh, We, this is a small token of our appreciation. It comes from our favorite gift shop, the CRJ Sisterhood (laughs) Gift Shop. And may she enjoy it in good health. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And now Barbara's going to follow in your footsteps, and she's going to be your shadow for the next two years. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for all you do, sisterhood, really. It's one of the strengths, great strengths of our congregation. We're going to link together all the generations of, that are here tonight. We have some younger women that are here and some less younger women that are here tonight. And we're going to link you all together through a song that you chose, and you know it, and I hope you'll join together, and I hope it'll touch your heart like it's always touched my heart every time I hear it and you'll join together you'll know what it is that 
I forget that slide? Wrong one, it's okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's there though. Hold on, technical difficulties. You can start, I think. Okay, I'll start it. Sure. Rabbi, you'll, you'll get there, okay. We are gifts and we are blessings. We are history in song. We are hope and we are healing. We are learning to be strong. We are words and we are stories. We are pictures of the past. We are carriers of wisdom, not the first and not the last. The door of a door knocking, God lecha. The door of a door we protect this chain. From generation to generation. The door of a door, these lips will praise our name. Looking back on the journey that we carry in our heart. From the shadow of the mountain to the waters that would part. We are gifts and we are holy. We are children of your way. And the words that bring us meaning, we will have the strength to say. The door of a door nagi god lecha. The door of a door we protect this chain from generation to generation. The door of a door, these lips will praise your name. The door of a door, Nagi God Lecha. The door of a door, we protect this chain. From generation to generation, the door of a door, these lips will praise your name. I'd like to invite Rachel Vandemark and Jean White to lead us in a blessing. Anyone need a tissue? Stay coupled. We got some up here. to the mic. <laughs> Grant us strength, God, to bring peace to your world. Guide our hands to dismantle injustice. Hone our ears to hear others' cries. Blunt our tongues from uttering malice. Blind us not, God. Open our eyes. Then we can reach out in friendship. Our hearts will listen for pain. Then will we speak only kindness and will walk without apathy's cane. Grant us strength, God, to bring, to bring peace to your, your world. world. We join together in a prayer for peace. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Chasim Le'olam Shalom Rav al Yisrael Amcha Tassim le'olam Ki atahu melech adom Lechol ha-shalom Ki atahu melech adom Lechol ha-shalom Shalom rav ha-Yisrael amcha Kasim le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tasim le'olam
I'd like to invite Barbara Zaslavsky and Matty Okin to lead us in a reading before the Mishaberach. Clear as dear God, let my heart ache, ache for every child who is hungry, mistreated, neglected, including those who face a war against their country and those who have died because of terror within their schools. Ache for every man whose burden is too heavy for his shoulders. Ache for every woman whose heart is breaking with life's sorrows, for everyone ill, oppressed, blind. Please God, let my heart ache for the needs of others less blessed than I. Adonai, grant me endless compassion so I may become the person you want me to be. Thank you. We add names of those that we think about for Mishibera prayer, especially members of this congregation, Bruce Weissman, John William Wilcox, Gordon Fink, Jude Martin Scott Schwamm, Sandra Bell, Alan Myers, Martin Lowy, and Edie Bloom. We hope each and every one of them will find a sense of wholeness. We ask you to add, add names in your minds and hearts of those in your life circle that you are thinking of on this Shabbat and sending them the prayer for wholeness and for blessing. We join together as one community. <laughs> Mikor Abracha Laimoteinu May the source of strength Who bless the ones before us Help us find the courage To make our lives a blessing And let us say Amen. Me The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. I'd like to invite Barbara Grossman up to do a reading before the Kaddish and also to thank Barbara who put together the Sister Shabbat. Thank you for including all the members of Sister and putting together really beautiful readings, very beautiful readings. It was a pleasure. I had a friend, graceful as a bird against the sky. She flew high. I felt the wind as she spread her wings while I soared alongside. She is gone, fallen to earth as the dust, but I still feel the rush of the breeze which lifted me to great heights because I had a friend. We take a moment to remember um, actually a woman who was part of sisterhood for many years way back, Norma Kaplan, 
whose solution we recount on this Shabbat, a longtime member, and her husband Buddy, longtime members of CRJ. We also add the names of those whose yard site, whose anniversary of passing, occurred during this past week from this past Sunday to this Shabbat day. Edward Ackerman, Marsha Paulette Banks, Anna Becker, Celia Bierman, Michael Bierman, Charles Bender, Rose Barash, Morris Cousins, Norman David, Henry Davison, Gertrude Dingfelder, Leslie Dorn, Sarah Gingold, Tilly Goldberg, Elma Gus, George Harris, Max Heller, Gladys Heyer, Harriet Callis, Isaac Callis, Stella Kiner, Miriam Colin, Benjamin Levin, Herbert Jerome Lilling, Morris Lindenberg, Rich Richard Litton, Mary Meckler, M Ruth Passiola, Harold Perlmutt, Charlotte Pinsky, Morris Reinhartz, Victoria Rausman, Norma Rubin, Dr. Herbert Rubin, Joseph Salzman, Milton Siegfried, Helen Sillis, Louis Slung, Harry Stern, Doris Strymish, Fanny Travitsky, Adolf Weinberger, Elias Weiser, Thomas Richard Weiss, Joseph Wilkin, Melvin Yarmouth. We ask all of those here or if they're watching online whose names that you are remembering on this Shabbat to please stand as you are able. You know, our Reformed congregation, our tradition is to have everyone stand, and that was originally because of those that remembered for the Shoah, and we certainly do that. But I think we also do that because we realize that we're interconnected, that someone else's yard site is our connection to that person. We support them, we love them, and we hold people up sometimes if they need it. So with that said, we ask you to please stand as you're able as a sign of the support of those who stand earlier and we join together for Kaddish. Yidgadal v'yikadash shemei rabah. Yalmad divrach hirtei v'yam likmach hutei. B'chai chon v'yom echon v'chayei d'chol b'ik Yisrael. Bagalav izman kariv imru amen. V'hei shmei rabah mevarach le'olam ol me'omaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitraman v'yinaseh. Yitadar v'yitalel v'yitalal shmei d'kadshah v'richu. Leilam in kol birchata v'shirata, tushpachata v'nechamata, tamira v'yama v'imru, amen. Behe shlam ma'arabah min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'yalko Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Ose shalom v'rumav, u'ya se shalom, aleinu v'yalko Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Be God who caused this shleimut, shalom above, caused it send upon each of us, upon all of Israel, upon the state of Israel, upon our country, upon all of humanity, and especially the names that we remember tonight, may they continue to rest in peace, knowing that they are being loved and remembered. Amen. Amen. Please be seated, and it's that time again, once again, for the canner to share announcements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're actually pretty much the same as last week, except one edition, but Bagels and Bibles tomorrow. 10 a.m. on Zoom. Are you leading it, Rabbi? I'm leading Bagels and Bibles. Whoa. We're talking about spies. spies. It's a spy thriller tomorrow morning. So oh, okay. join at 10 o'clock. A spy thriller, no experience necessary. Go online mm -hmm. and click on the website. And Wednesday, are you also doing Torah study? Uh, Torah study is done. Is it done? It's okay. done for the summer. It's done for the summer. It's done. For now the summer. I know. Okay. So there's no Torah study. Forget Just that kidding. One. We are still hiring, though. We're looking for a youth director. We've gotten a couple people interested, but we would definitely, if you know someone, or if there's someone here right now who's interested, or if you know anyone, please spread the word. We're looking for the right person to work with our youth, zero, age zero to 18 years of age. And also, I'm still looking for a few teachers for our religious school. Again, if you know it, if you think you're a candidate, or you want to work with some kids, or if you know someone, let it re please reach out to me specifically. I've been roasted in this congregation before, but now I'm about to be barbecued. Yeah. 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 As the kids said, a rabbi's going to be barbecued. So that's a week from this Sunday. It's yep. coming fast. And um, so if you would like to hang out with rabbis, talk to him, talk to your fellow congregants, uh, and to just enjoy a nice... Or you can just come for the free food, yeah, hot dogs, true. hamburgers, <laughs> potato chips. The dining soda. will be inside. We'll eat inside, yes, because of the nice, be toasty weather outside. Yes, yeah, so come and that's June 30th. Oh, weeks. That, yes, that, sorry, that's June 25th. And then five days later, if that wasn't enough, we have our rabbinic transition Shabbat, which is going to be really, really special. 
We have some great music planned, some great t talking planned. And, uh, the we don't know any be... other congregation that's really done this before. So yeah, this is I have kind not. Of yeah, it's really, really, yeah. really unique. So if you can make it, we would love for you to be there. It'll be live streamed, and also you can always watch it later. The kids will be singing. The adults, some adults will be singing. Some teens will be singing. It'll be really special. So come, June 30th. This is new. This is new. I forgot to include it last week, actually. But if you're interested, we're looking for more High Holy Days adult choir members to join Mars. the choir. And yes, you don't have, do you have to have a good voice? Not necessarily, as long as you can match pitches with others and you don't distract from, you know, others, you can sing. I mean, I believe everybody can sing, but I haven't heard everybody, so maybe not. Um, <laughs> but, you know. Uh, do you need to be able to sight read? No, you don't have to. It helps, of course, but you don't have to. You, we practice a lot of times. We go through parts, everything like that. You can try it out also. Uh, you'll, will you meet new people? Probably. Most definitely, I think. And can you try it out? Yes, you can try it out. And if you really don't like it and you don't get sucked in, uh, you can decide not to be a part of it. But we're looking for people to, to uh, bulk up our choir you a little bit. You need to ask so. some more lines. Is it fun? Yes. Is it? Absolutely. It? Yes. yes. Ask it me a, any is questions. Is it a sacred duty? Yes. <laughs> Yes, you're leading services in a way. You're helping to lead services. It actually so. makes services a little more fun. Mm -hmm. Actually, so exactly. Mean, and the music is in English too, so that makes it easy as well. It's not yeah. like you have to read Hebrew. So there's well, that. Well, I wanted so. to, I wanted to thank uh, several people tonight. I wanted to thank, first of all, all of you for being here. All of you that are watching us in line as well. I wanted to thank our wonderful women of Reform Judaism. If you are a woman and you haven't signed up yet, they would love to have you as part of their organization. Whatever age you are, it is a multi-generational organization. It's a wonderful group of women. Besides being serious in what they do, they have a lot of fun, good sense of humor, they enjoy together, and they do really, really, really important. As you'll see, we have a new room now in the sanctuary on the other side, which is wonderful, by the sisterhood, done by the sisterhood. Sometimes it takes the sisterhood to really get things done, if you know what I mean. And with that said, I also want to congratulate Suzanne, I also want to congratulate her whole class. Once again, the B'nai Mitzvah, adult B'nai Mitzvah class. And I wanted to uh, congratulate everyone. We're all celebrating tonight. So Sisterhood, I know, has a dinner afterwards. And uh, yeah. And we have this last song that they requested as well. And we're going to ask you to please stand up as you're able for this last song, celebrating Suzanne, our sisterhood, all the women in our congregation. They chose this song by Beth Schaefer, who started here at CRJ. Yay, Beth. And so this is a very, very inspirational song that she wrote. Mother's love and mother's hold. Mother's shape you the world we know. You may join along with the cantor. Mama. Trying out for the choir. Ima mama. Mothers worry, mothers feel, mothers know too well what's real. Mama, Ima, Mama, and these are the things our mothers teach us. Leave to hate, dear Shumishpat, Hashu Chamoz, Shiv to Yatom. Rimu Almana Amen. Sisters laugh and sisters cry. Sisters stand strong by and by. Sister, oh my sister. Sisters know you, sisters sense. Sisters, keep your precious secret, sister, oh my sister. And these are the things our sisters teach us. Leave do hey tafe, dear shoomish pot, ashru chamos. Sheep to yatom, rebu almana. Daughters wonder, daughters share, daughters make the whole world care. Daughter, precious daughter, 
Daughters push us, daughters sigh. Daughters make us ask God why. Daughter, precious daughter. And these are the things our daughters teach us. Leave do hey tave, dear shoe mishpat, a shoe come on. Shiv to yaton, rivu almana. Shabbat shalom and mazel tov. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Adult b'nai mitzvah class. We have to get a photo of everybody.